I really can't stop myself to not speak regarding this uh, pet filament from Bottles. Uh, just check out this first layer. It is... I wish you can feel this. It is perfect. And this is my uh, Creality V3 KE, so a budget printer. This is uh, a usual brand name filament. So let's remove this. I want to show you how it looks when it is removed. It seems it want to be squished a bit more. I'm gonna tune that later, but uh, overall, check this out. It is like uh, not printed one piece. Really astonishing, except here. Uh, it is probably a bad leveling problem. I need to retune it a bit. But next time, I mean, this is from Pet Bottle, these bottles, and I'm using a device like this to make this filament. I mean, there is something special regarding this. I'm printing uh, one simple clamp. Uh, the problem which I encountered often is that uh, the spool is turning too much because there is a lot of uh, pressure from uh, filament because uh, as you probably know the pet is quite uh, in simple words you just want to unwind so I put a plastic bag inside to get some uh, pressure on the spool so it can't unwind that much easily Let's check the print, and uh, as you can see, it looks quite uh, perfect. But uh, let's wait it for to finish. This is the finished print. It looks really nice. Top layer is a bit burnt. It, this is the first time I printed on this printer with PET filament, so some fine tuning is needed. The clamp works. I need to print one more, more part for this for this part here, but overall I'm satisfied. And the great thing is that the connection which I made, you can see it here, it did go through the filament sensor, so basically it won't have a problem to go through extruder. This is a, a proven method I'm using this already some time, it works great. I, I think that I need to lower down the temperature for around 5 to 10 degrees or increase the speed. I'm already quite fast, subscribe to check my full video how to print pet 